Hi Gemini, welcome to your special retrograde forecast for singles. Now please take note that this is only a general reading and it doesn't actually apply to everyone, okay? I will still be recording the special forecast for couples and for careers and finances next, alright? Let's take a look, Gemini, how will you find love and then your money pyramid reading? Oh, this is your significator. Well, Gemini, you've been disappointed with somebody as a water sign. And I feel like you thought that you're really going to be... And this is the bottom... Oh, water sign. This is the bottom line of your cards, okay? Now, in the past... Um, Gemini, there was somebody that you used to be with and you thought that this is actually the one that you're going to be ending up with in marriage or wedding. However, there are, there has been a lot of secrecies and alibis and there has been a lot of... Well, you considered, it's, you, you considered it as a, a betrayal because you have discovered a lot of things that your former partner did not really um, relate to you and you discovered it in your own way and you somehow felt betrayed you know by it and um you just decided to move away now it's it's been like roughly for 10 months already or it could be 10 years as well but you know the feelings are still there it's not that you're resenting your you know your decision and you're still you know you still want to stand firm about your decision and you feel like you did the right thing however you cannot really move on or you cannot really forget about the feelings and the person. You are somehow thinking, what is it with this person? Or it could be if you have some past life connection or if you have any karmic connection. Because you have tried to be in a relationship with several people yet nobody actually works out with you. Or no, nothing actually works out for you. Okay? And uh, especially for those Geminis, for single Geminis, you know, right now who's already been with five people right after this water sign you just keep on getting hurt and you just can't seem to move on from the past and you know the ghost of the past it keeps on coming back and it keeps on reminding you of this person who had hurted you now you were you were so disappointed you know just thinking and remembering that memories and i feel like for some reason you will decide this month or within a month from now to reach out to this person and i feel like you just want to have a closure and not to bridge the gap or not to bridge the you know the uh, the past and i feel like this person also feels the same way whether you're a man or a woman and this person is you know the opposite sex so it's up to you this is all of the this is just a general reading so it's up to you okay now both of you are already having a hard time moving on and you're still wishing for the closure. You're still wait, wishing to know the answers to your questions, whether it's been 10 months or 10 years already. Okay? And you're wishing for some changes. Okay? There has been some rumors or naysays from here and there, but you just want to know the answer straight from this person. Okay? And hopefully that once you finally have the closure from that person you'll finally move on and find the right one for you okay now right after this it seems like you will be planning for a travel within the next two days two weeks and two months and you just want to free yourself up free yourself from all the burdens that's been dragging you around and that you've been carrying around you now Ironically, the right one for you is also a water sign, born around June or July. Okay, so definitely this is a Cancer. And it seems like this person lives from another city or another area, and you're going to be meeting by the time that you travel. Okay, this is somebody that you've been waiting for for a long period of time, and there will be a brand new beginning. In fact, but that by the time that you travel this is where you will also start thinking that maybe i should just you know move 
from a new location or new place that maybe this is what I really need, you know? Because there will be a relocation or house move that will be coming to you or that you will be thinking upon within a month from now and you will be very happy there. There will also be a lot of growth, financial movements, especially if you're thinking about putting up a business or changing your job altogether. Okay? And you being stagnated from the past, something that you have been like contemplating to do and contemplating to like free yourself up it will happen but then there will be one last you know talk word or discussion with this person whether you still want this person to be in your life or not there will be a closure there will be one last talk and there will be one last words from both of you you know like what happened why did you do that why did you shut me out what did you you know stuff like that why where and how you know and those stuff and I feel like the bottom line of that conversation is that you will still be stubborn and you will somehow feel and decide that no you know I can't really trust you again I can't really like go back to the path again because I have tried to free myself from that memories or from that you know from that kind of life with you and I don't really want to I don't want to go back there anymore okay I just need a closure I just needed some answers to my question because even if I try to move on and I have tried to deny that feeling and the, you know, the hurt and the pain that I have gone through and went through because of you, it's still here with me. So now I just want to close the wounds and close the door and freely move on. Now, as I've said, okay, as I've said that you're the right one for you is also a water sign, but this is... This person is from another place, another city, another country. Um, well, I feel like there will also be a promise of longevity or marriage. And I feel like you'll be trusting your instincts more. You know, the thing about here is you need to learn how to... How to get over your phobias, your fears, especially your trust issues. Okay? Because... You know, you have to accept that it's already part of human nature for people to deceive, lie, cheat as well. Because nobody is perfect. Whether they're going to be cheating on you from the start of your relationship, right in the middle of your relationship, and so on and so forth. That's already part of human nature and nobody is designed not to make a mistake. Alright? You have relationship phobias or you have some commitment issues that's why you're having a hard time surviving and succeeding your relationship but this time i feel like this person is the one who will be sweeping off or driving you down to your knees and will make you believe that it is still nice to love feel loved and love again all right so within the next two months two weeks i feel like you will learn how to love again and within a month from now there will be a closure from something that you've been waiting for to have a closure with there will be one last talk with this uh, water sign and you're going to be ending up with another water sign as well all right so please take note this is a general reading it doesn't apply to all gemini's now let's take a look at your uh careers and finances i'll be using the pyramid spread Plus the life purpose as well if you're also thinking of changing your horizon or changing your jobs or careers at the same time. Let's take a look. Changes are actually in your horizon. It's really necessary for you to do this. For those Gemini's who's looking for a new job or wants to work in a new place, you need to travel. The new opportunity for you is actually in another city or another place. That's why there will be some relocation that is going to be necessary for you to do. Let's take a look at your life purpose. 
or what is the right kind of job if you're looking for your life calling all right well the job that you have right now it seems like it does pay off your bills and everything else but you're not really happy you don't find fulfillment there anymore travel You know, you love your freedom, and I feel like you will find more meaning in your career and uh, in your skills and uh, something that you would really love to do if you're going to be taking a job that has something to do with travel or that will be involving travel. Because you love to, you love to preserve your freedom, okay? You love seeing different places, you know, different, meeting different people. And you, you want to keep on moving from here and there. And you, you're a little bit impatient as well. Now, with the job that you have right now, you're feeling a little bit stagnant. You're feeling a little bit stuck. And you don't know if there's like a direction or if there's any like a next stage to it. Okay. You feel like it's not that you feel like you're wasting your time, but you feel like time is passing you by in, in, in one corner and you want to explore more of your potential, more of what's in store there for you, what's in the horizon, what's beyond the mountains and the, the borders. And you want to explore more, see more. Okay. So now this, I also feel like for the next year, 2019 for you will have a lot of traveling involved. If you're going to be changing your job or your profession by October, then definitely you're going to be locked into a profession or job that is related to travel or that will involve traveling around. And I feel like you're going to be nailing a very good, um, very good opportunity. And this is... You know, if you're single, this is good. But if you already have a family, this is going to be very difficult because you know that there will be some consequences right after this. If you're always away and if you're always not, you know, like you can't really be with your family all the time, then, of course, there will be some dire consequences that you have to face. All right. Now, for those who is looking for some career change or where is your real life calling, travel, music, well, animals, taking care of animals, volunteering for some animal cause or, you know, non-profit organizations, stuff like that. Music, music writing, music playing, or music compilation or something, you know, it's in a broader sense. A career that has something to do with the music or music industry, and you just need to, pra to practice your passion. You are also deemed to be a leadership type or to be a leader and you're well protected so the options are actually open it's up to you whether you want to stay in your current job you want to explore or you want to choose whatever that's right in front of you okay so well, in the world is your oyster so i feel like feel free to choose your own path because you will be protected and guided all right as far as if you wanted to know if there will be a progress to a job that you're holding on right now or that you're with the position that you're in right now, um, I feel like your path is already calling for a change. You just need to heed for the signs and for the symbols that your angels will be throwing your way. And if you, if you wanted to ask if you should stay or go, I feel like it's time for you to start looking around. You're not going to be losing your job, but you're the one who'll be changing your mind. Or will have a change of heart. Alright? So anyway, that's it for you for this retrograde Gemini. And if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live in the readings, go and visit me at my website. It's afiaangel.net. You may talk to me live in the phone or live in the calls or off for pre-recorded video readings. Alright? Have a great month and blessings to you.